Your lab materials for the molar mass of a gas lab are a balance, goggles, a water basin, a graduated cylinder, a thermometer and maybe a digital thermometer, a lighter, and some parafilm. Fill the water basin two-thirds full of water and then put the lighter into the water for two reasons. One, to reach the same temperature as the water and to avoid errors by having water into all the cracks and crevices of the lighter. Next, take the temperature of the water before you continue. Because we'll be collecting the gas from our lighter over water, there will be water molecules in our collected sample. We'll need to use Dalton's law to subtract out the vapor pressure of that water at a specific temperature. We need to make sure that we are collecting only the gas from the lighter over water and not any air bubbles. So before you start this experiment, you must make sure you have no air bubbles in your graduated cylinder because they will cause errors in this lab. You're going to invert this graduated cylinder making sure that there are no air bubbles before you start collecting the gas over water. You're going to place it into the water basin and get ready to remove the parafilm before you can start collecting the gas. Make sure you collect every gas bubble that comes out of the lighter and collect a total volume of 70 to 90 milliliters. Do not go past the 100 milliliter mark or you will not be able to get an accurate volume. After you've collected your sample of gas, put the grad cylinder all the way to the bottom of the water basin and you'll notice that the volume of the gas decreases because of increased pressure of the water. Next, elevate the grad cylinder. Do not remove it from the water level though, and you'll see that the gas expands due to it being above the water level, which is the atmospheric pressure of the day. 
So what you need to do is have the grad cylinder at the water level inside your water basin so that it matches the atmospheric pressure of the day so we can use Dalton's law to calculate the pressure of our gas that we collected. The pressure of the day was 767.6 millimeters of mercury. Once you've collected your gas from the lighter in a well-ventilated area, remove the grad cylinder and the gas and then dry the lighter thoroughly just as you did at the beginning of the lab to avoid errors in the mass calculation. Now on to the calculations. Was the gas butane? Find the mass in the moles and you'll be able to calculate the molar mass of this gas and see if it is indeed butane.